Hey, Rusty here with Seismic Audio, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Epicenter. It's a four channel power amp, and as far as uh, the amps that we carry go, this is the beast. Um, it operates at 4 by 500 watts RMS at 8 ohms. Um, you can do 4 by 850 watts RMS at 4 ohms, or you can do 2 by 1600 with an 8 ohm bridge. Um, it gives you a frequency response of 5 hertz all the way up to 50,000, uh, plus or minus uh, 0.5 decibel. And you've got a uh, total harmonic distortion of less than 5 hundredths of a percent. So now I want to show you some of the features on the front here. All the way to your right, you've got your power switch. And going back to your left, you've got your four channel volume knobs, A, B, C, and D. And then directly to the right of those, you've got your LED indicator lights. These basically um, show you the volume level that each channel is operating at. And then the further you go, you've also got your clip indicator and then your protection mode indicator. And uh, what this will do is let you know which channels are being muted, um, basically which channels are overloading, and uh, help you discern the problem from there. And now we're going to flip it around to the back, and I'll show you some of those features. All right, so we flipped the amp around to show you the back. And as you can see, on either side, I've got my cooling fans. I'll move over a little bit, and then I've got my fuse and my power cord below that. And then I've got my inputs, and it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, with the XLRs up top, speak on down below. And you should also note the two operation mode switches, which can be flipped from bridge, parallel, or stereo. So there you have it folks, that's the Epicenter 5004 power amp. It's the most powerful amp that we carry here at Seismic. Um, we've actually pushed eight 18 inch subs with it. Um, we also tried it with uh, four dual 15 inch mains and had no problems with either. So be sure you check this out. And as always, I'm Rusty saying thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.